scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day. From New York, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds, Damian Priest. Everyone in this match is competing at such a high level. I predict one of the most competitive matches we've seen in a very long time. steps in the ring with him, I fear. And he's in there with Jey Uso, an athletic superstar who is as dynamic as he is ruthless in the ring. And don't expect the rules to protect you. Jey sees them more as recommendations. Well, I see things as Jey having a mean streak that brings him to success. Once Jey unleashes the full extent of his fury, he's nearly unstoppable. Not to state the obvious, but if you want to win against Jey Uso, you need to keep him grounded and not allow him to hit any aerial attacks. So here's some free advice for his opponent. Wear Jade down. Pile on the attack so it becomes too hard for him to climb those ropes. That's good advice, Corey. We both know that if Jay can get to that top rope, he'll be that much closer. Turning the win. Oh, the reversal by Priest. Oh, Ouch. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Can't lift anyone at that shoulder. It keeps getting worked on. Enough already. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Close fist connects. Vicious right forearm. Oh, look at the knees. Burying knees into the body. All the momentum has swung to print. In the cover. soon.
Watch what impact. Shot after shot, then slamming their face down. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. He finds a counter for Jay. Quick exchange of counters there. Well, maybe it's just me, but you can only be disrespected so many times like that before you start to develop a complex. You get slapped a lot, Corey? It's none of your business, Cole. He may be in a bad way here. Statement being made by Priest. Power behind every maneuver he lays in.